Hi there, my name is Fawn Davis and I'm here to show you how to modify a GoPro 3D kit to work with a Hero 3. Um, if you're like me, <laughs> uh, you probably bought both of these things hoping that they would work together. Uh, not all websites are really good at spelling that out. The GoPro site is. Um, but uh, everyone hasn't kind of caught on to the idea that these are not compatible. Um, so I've read online a lot of people have been buying these and have the same problem. And I was really hoping to find a video like this. And since there wasn't one, I thought I'd go ahead and put this together for you. Uh, maybe it'll make your life easier. Um, so the first thing you'll notice since the lens is in a different position and in a different diameter, you have to modify the housing to fit the camera in the case. And so the way I did that, I actually took a Dremel tool, um, uh, just a standard rotary tool, and I used their, uh, let's see, it's a cutting bit. It's a carbide cutting bit, number 562, if you wanted to get that specific one. Um, and you can just cut into this area down here. So I actually get rid of the two supports that are down here and the two supports that are up here because the cameras go in one upside down, one right side up. And then once I've ground that away, I also had to grind away a little bit of the plastic underneath there too. You want to go down enough so that the camera fits in easily uh, centered on this space here. Uh, the other thing you have to do is drill out the holes for the lenses. So this actually comes with these little domed lenses. Um, you can take this frame off with the screws here and remove it. And then while it's off, you take a, a step drill. Um, this is just a really easy way to cut those holes out and keep them centered. So basically you just drill that through until you get to the right diameter. Uh, it could be a little oversized. It's not really critical because uh, it's the housing that's going to hold the cameras in place. What this does do, just so you know, is it eliminates the ability for you to shoot um, underwater with this because you're obviously you're getting rid of the domed lenses uh, that are on here. And I also drilled holes here and here so I can get to the button on the camera because the button that they install, they have one of these little uh, buttons built into the case, uh, doesn't actually line up with the camera very well. So I went ahead and drilled that out. For me, I just I did it without thinking because um, I'm not going to shoot underwater with this. So the other thing that um, I discovered is the synchronization cable. Um, when you put it in here with the two cameras in place, doesn't actually work with the Hero 3. So um, this is solved though, it's very easy because with uh, the Hero 3 Black Edition um, you have this handy remote that works via Bluetooth and this remote you can actually set it up so it activates both cameras at the same time. So it does the same thing that this does. Neither of these give you true frame-to-frame -frame synchronization, it just starts both cameras at the same time. It's it's, it's definitely close enough to use. Um, I haven't had a problem with any of the stuff that I've shot yet. Now, once you get to putting in the cameras, what you'll find is you'll put in a camera and there's going to be a space now because the camera is sitting lower between the upper supports and the camera. And the way I solved that is I went to the hobby shop and I purchased some 0.188 inch thick styrene strip. This, this one is about 3 8 inch wide, but it doesn't really matter how wide as long as the thickness is correct. And you just place it there in the support uh, trying to stay away from the button. So you favor that plastic strip when looking at the back of the camera to the left side, so camera left side. Uh, the other thing I did is I went ahead and labeled the cameras, each with their own unique name. And you have to give them names anyway uh, for networking purposes. So I named each camera and then I put labels on the side of the case on each side that has the name of the camera so I always put the left and right camera in the same position and then I take the micro SD card and I also mark those right and left so that way there's never any confusion when you take out your two micro SD cards you know exactly which one is left and which one is right so this is what it looks like so I've got the little plastic strips holding the cameras in like so and I got my little labels on there. And then you can also put in the LCD screens or you can create a spacer in there if you want to just pack it with foam or just a block of wood or anything so that this holds the cameras tight. You can do that. So basically that's the way it wants to look. 
and the little blue lights are blinking because I've got it set up to work with the Bluetooth. And so I just take the remote, I activate it, and I fire off 3D video. And it's uh, I've done a bunch of tests. It works pretty good. Um, I probably won't uh, put any of the tests online because uh, I'm my next project is going to be to take the complete cameras apart and remove the lenses and get them uh, adjustable. Because I want to be able to adjust the distance between the lens, but that's just because I'm uh, I'm crazy that way. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this uh, this helps you. Um, if you wanted to do one of these modifications, uh, don't pay attention to the fact that I cut this off. I just did that for the uh, camera setup that I'm using for this. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, you know, uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see any more of my crazy projects and um, like the video and enjoy uh, shooting your happy 3D videos.